And one of my first memories partaking in the fishery was on the foremost. I was 12, and I clearly remember my father explaining to my mother that he didn't bait me. In other words, don't blame me, blame him. The kid wants to go. I can't stop it. And uh, at the end of the day, I think internally that's what he wanted anyway. And I think he was proud that I wanted to be like him. And I still do. I don't know what the future brings. What I do know is that, uh, you know, we're not going to stop trying. And that's what he would do. You know, right now, our million dollar goal has been tested every day. We're just going to aim for king crab, and we just got to keep pushing forward. Hey, you guys, huddle up. Yep. OK, this is tricky bottom. It's real tricky bottom. I want to try to hit 35 fathoms, but it's all over the place, OK? okay. So you need to be on your game. When I sound off, no excuses. Pot goes over the side. Got it? Roger. OK. All, all right. right. Unlike the Bering Sea, uh, the coastline here is checkerboarded with ridges. When you get higher up on these ridges, very hard bottom, and uh, you'll come up blank. So it seems like you're threading a needle uh, every time you're fishing these ridges around this coast. One pot ready to go! All right, let it go. Roger, going over. There's some crap. Woo! OK, first one, Mark. No, oh, that's 33. It's not where I wanted it. Next pot. This is Oscar's boat. It's not a crab boat. You know, they got them stacked back in the stern there, so they got to use a crane every time to bring it in. It's not very efficient. So we can't use a lot of speed. It's just crawling through, trying to get him in there. Hurry up! It's coming! All right, there's 30. Four, 35. OK, set it. All right, going over. 36. Set it. Set it. It's going. I'm already at 37. That's twice they can't get on the mark because they're not getting them over the side. Taking a long time. Sig's trying to set these right at 35 fathoms, and that 35 fathom mark kind of snakes along here. But this is taking a little bit longer with the setup. They're just not getting the pots over the side. If they set it when they're told, you'd hit the 35. It's just up and down bottom. That's the problem. Clark, yeah. I want you to run the hydros. I'm going to leave the door open. When I say set it, you set it, OK? Roger. On my mark. Set it! Going over! Two bags stuck in the prop right now. It's not coming out. We try to get it out with a throwing hook. This is up. Okay, now, Oscar. I 
that there. I go on this side, we go. You're gonna have to keel haul it, take a line, put a weight on it, throw it over the bow, work it back, and then uh, bring it back up in the block. See if you can get the, get the line up that way. But you know, there's current here, you're right on the beach, so it's gonna be tricky to do. I don't think they've ever done it on this boat, but we can give it a try. Right now, it's all hands on deck. Here you go. Drop it down, okay? Then you guys work it back together. So hopefully Oscar will keep the boat in position so we can deal with this current, because that's the problem. Just keep it there. You don't have to go all the way back. You can bring that one up here. OK, take this up a little bit. Clark's coming around. We're going to tie this off, and then he's going to pull. OK? OK, put in the block. Easy. I don't think we got it. No, we didn't get it. There's just too many pots on one tangle. We're going to have to just cut it and go into town because he wants a diver to look at it instead of trying to haul it out of the wheel. He could damage it further. These guys are in the channel here. They're going to tow us in, evidently. This is a huge hit for us right now. We, we don't have time for this. We we're hoping to pull all these pots today and get some king crab on board. We only have a few days left, and now here we are. We're getting towed in. This is one of those things that could possibly be a season ender. It's humiliating, but that's fishing. It's just part of the job. 